What's up, nerds? So today I'm going to be opening up the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves uh, Edgen uh, action figure from, I believe this is from Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro. And I'm going to open this sucker up. Um, you know, the movie was okay. Nothing like too crazy special, but it was all right. But this is uh, Chris Pine. And uh, who doesn't love Chris Pine? So sexy, that Chris Pine. Um, just from the packaging, the action figure doesn't look that that Chris Piney. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how Chris Piney he looks. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's uh, check this sucker out. We'll open it up. The packaging so far doesn't look all that great either. But, uh, you know, I like it when you can see when it's got that 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 uh, see-through plastic and you can see the figure um, uh, from, uh, from, you know, so that way you can be like, it doesn't look anything like Chris Pine. Uh, I don't want that sucker, but uh, we're going to open this sucker up and see how how cool he looks. So um, uh, let's check it out. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, let's open up this action figure. Um, so as you can see, this is the front of it and you can see a picture of Chris Pine and everything. And then this is the figure that you're going to get of Edgen. And uh, so we're going to, this is a picture of him on the side. Uh, turn it around to the back and you see a picture of the figure that you're going to get and the, um, the accessories that it comes with. Uh, you know, very Chris Piney, all this stuff at the bottom. It means nothing. And then you get a tiny little little blurb about the character, uh, and then in a bunch of different languages. All right, so let's open this sucker up real quick and just see what we got in here. They've got a no plastic packaging over there at Hasbro. Bunch of little bags, nonsense. Anyways, um, so yeah, so here is the knife that it comes with. It was not in the bag with the accessories. It was in his little holster, so just so you know about that. Then he comes with this little key. You know this little chunk of plastic I, I was like i saw that movie and i was like well this was a waste of an accessory and then he also comes with his little what is this a banjo a fiddle i'm not quite sure but look how fun that is and it's it's you know i guess a good mold or whatnot um but yeah it looks fun and everything it comes in its little its own little like banjo holder and uh, that straps over his shoulder <clears throat> all right so let's get this crap out of the way and let's check out this figure up close and uh its articulation and everything so here's the figure as you can see it looks very Chris piney kind of anyways um i wish it looked a little bit more Chris piney so there it bends at the head very cool and then it also bends at the shoulders right there as you can see i always tell people to be careful when you're bending your figures because then it can uh it twists there at the arm uh the other arm and then you bend uh, uh yeah you gotta uh, maybe i'll go to the other arm because this this arm's not bending yet let's go to the other, other arm so uh it bends at the arm uh double time and everything always fun and then it bends there uh, uh at the wrist right there yeah doing a little jerking motion um and then it bends at the torso right there very cool very cool um, at the legs, the top of the leg, or the hip, sorry, and then also at the top of the legs, it uh, it tor uh, gosh, it twirls, and then it bends at the knee, double time again, and then uh, at the uh, it twists there at the boot, and then it bends uh, at the ankles and everything. Not too much, but you know, a little bit. So that's the figure and its articulation. Let's take a closer look of this thing up close and everything. So here he is holding some accessories. Like I said, the sculpt is not the best, but it's not that bad. It does kind of look like Chris Pine. I wish it just looked more like Chris Piney. Anyways, so here's the figure. I think that the for overall, the figure is not that bad. It actually like, you know, from a distance, it looks like the character from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Um, but I do think the sculpt is pretty good. And I do think like the accessories are good. I think that the figure overall is decent, at least. Uh, at minimum, it's decent. But I like it a lot. Uh, you know, I am glad that I have my collection. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so here it is far away. Uh, you know, I think that, uh, I don't know. Does that look Chris Pine? Like Chris Pine to you? Let's take a look. Um, I didn't put the banjo in his hand because I don't want to bend that arm. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wish it looked more Chris Piney in my opinion. But it's fine. It's fine. It looks pretty good. All right, you guys. So tell me, what do you guys think about this uh, figure, this Hasbro uh, uh, d and uh, from the movie, this Chris Pine action figure. I think it looks all right like Chris Pine. I mean, it could look a tiny bit more, but you know, whatever. What are you going to do? But um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, the like I said before, the elbows um, are a little not so bendy, so I'm going to have to take a, a, 
uh, hair dryer to it to make it make it more more bendy bendy and everything but uh, other than that i think it's not too bad i don't think it's like absolutely perfect it's not 100 percent, but i think it's pretty good we'll give it an 80 82 percent uh you know being pretty good um but tell me what do you guys think do you like it do you not like it do you have it um do they make a figure that you don't have that you want uh yet they might make it and you never know uh but tell me what you guys think go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you my channel Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next uh, unboxing and review. You guys have a good day. Bye. Hey guys, if you like this, go ahead and check out my main channel at Geek What. Link in the description down below. If you want to help support me even more, you can check out my merch store also in the link down below. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it.